Hey guys, Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about cumulative frequency polygons, which have their own special, special name called ogives. So ogives are made exactly the same way as a regular frequency polygon, except that we use the cumulative frequency column instead of the regular frequency column. So you'll notice that we label our vertical axis with cumulative frequencies. We still have our class labels along the bottom or the horizontal axis. And we have our dots at each cumulative frequency and we are connected by a straight line. So let's look back at our age data and create an ogive. Okay, so we know that ogive is our cumulative frequency, so we're going to be using this middle column, our cumulative frequencies. And we're going to go ahead and set up pretty much the same as we did with our frequency polygon. polygon. So this is ogive for ages. So this is going to be ages along the bottom axis, and those are in years. This one is going to be our cumulative frequency. Just like before, I'm going to put each one of my classes along the horizontal axis. So I've got my 11 to 13 here, my 14 to 16 here, my 17 to 19, and my 20 to 22. Looking at what I need to be able to show with cumulative frequencies, I need to be able to get up to at least 24. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to 25 <clears throat> and count by fives. So there's 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. All right, that should allow me to show everything I need. So now I'm going to go in and for each class I'm going to graph its cumulative frequency. So for 11 to 13, my cumulative frequency is the same as my regular frequency, which is 5. 14 to 16, I'm going to go up to where 14 would be and place my dot right above my tick mark there. My next cumulative frequency is 23. So above my 17 to 19, 23 would be about right there. And for my 20 to 22 class, the cumulative frequency is 24. So just a little bit above that 23. And we can go back and connect each one with a, a straight of a line as we can manage. And there would be our cumulative frequency polygon, also known as an ogive for our age data. All right, that does it for this one. Catch you in the next video.